Hey everybody, I just want to make a short video here uh, and I want to discuss uh, this topic. I've been, I was watching a Ed Fenninger video. I, I also saw a video uh, defending the pre-trib rapture and you have a lot of these so-called Christians coming out and uh, telling everybody all this nonsense such as uh, there's no pre-trib, there's post-trib. I even heard of some uh, try to make it sound like Jesus Christ is the son of perdition. And uh, I just, I, you know, if, if you're a born again Christian, you have the spirit, Holy Spirit that indwells you. And if you're not born again, you don't have that spirit. And if you have that spirit, uh, you, you know, over here in uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 2 14 uh, we, we see if I can get it okay over here in 1st Corinthians 2 14 it says but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God for they are foolishness unto him neither can they he know them because they are spiritually discerned uh, and uh, we have there are a number of ways uh, that the Spirit will help us. Uh, you know, you don't know, as you're reading the Word, and you can't figure out what's going on, sometimes the Spirit will give you that wisdom and that knowledge, and you'll understand it. Other times, He'll bring preachers or teachers into your life through maybe video, or maybe if you go to a church or something, and you hear someone speak on something that you were having a problem with, and you have been praying, and the Spirit will help you, but you have to be open to it. Uh, another another verse that I'm going to use here is in James. Uh, <coughs> uh, James 4, 16. Uh, versus, let me let me get this here. Uh, James one, and I had I had used this before. It says in James one verse five. Okay, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Okay, eight uh, six. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Number se uh, Verse uh, 7, for let not, not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Verse 8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So, you can't ask the Lord if you have a double mind. If you were taught by somebody else, something uh be like the bereans in um in acts when the bereans heard something they went to the scriptures they searched it out and a lot of these preachers are just going with their their they're arrogant they've been around they, they've been teaching they have a following they've written books they have degrees on their wall and they're not allowing the Spirit to speak through them, to, to work through them, to show them the truth. And uh, what you need to do, like I said, you need to let the Spirit help you discern and be patient. And, and because otherwise you're going to be led into heresy, false doctrine, and you're going to be also leading other people astray. You know, I, I've seen some where the, they just, their theories are totally outlandish. And uh, they, they don't have a, it's, it's not clear, and they lie. And if they are born-again Christians, they should not do that. They should repent of that and, you know, pray for these people. Okay, pray for me. Because I can go into the Word of God. I, I've looked at things where I was off. But because I seek to know the truth and to be have you know, let the Spirit work, 
God does lead me to people that will help me to understand or, or I'll read it again and it'll come to life and I'll realize what it is. So just let, let the spirit help you discern. Uh, don't go off half cock. Don't think just because you might have some knowledge or what, like I said, a degree or got books out there that you're, you know, pretty smart right now. None of us are. We're idiots. Okay. We couldn't save ourselves. We, and we also, sh and, and if we couldn't save ourselves, and we need him to do that for us and to help us to become more sanctified through our life, we also need him to show us what he means. Okay. You know, the Lord said this, and this is what it means. Not the Lord said this, and now I'm going to go and I'm going to say that. Okay. This is what I think. So. Let the Spirit help you discern, and that's all I have right now. Uh, until next time, this is Kramer Unstuck.